This is a review of the Mini Model Pepper Spray from Mace. This pink pepper spray is part of Mace's Empower brand of products. I know the word Empower is nowhere on this packaging, but by the Mace Cares ribbon on the purple part, there's a website. And on that website, Mace talks about the Empower brand of products, and some of the sale price of those products goes to support domestic violence awareness and prevention. So that's neat. Let's have a look at these sprays. They are exactly identical other than the color. They both have this orientation tab and the purpose of the orientation tab is to know where to point the pepper spray, how to have it well orientated. There's the uh, nozzle there. That may be very difficult to see, but there is a hole there by the uh, under the white down in the middle and that hole the nozzle is exactly opposite of the orientation tab so without looking at the pepper spray a user can feel for the tab open the cap and then spray away what I'll do now is roll in the footage of me testing these I'm not sure that got it. I'll try the pink one. I have another one of these. I'll try it out. It won't press down. I couldn't get it to press down. I'll try it again. This is not pressing down. Not entirely sure why. There we go. Okay. That worked. I can feel it in my throat. This is not pressing down. Not entirely sure why. There we go. Like you saw, the range is very short. Five feet is optimistic at best. I think the range is more like three feet because that's what I had to do. I had to get three feet away from the sheet of paper and the mannequin head to make contact. I don't know what was wrong with the with the trigger with the nozzle on this one. It just was really firm. That was the firmest trigger on a pepper spray I've ever used. They're all they all always require some some effort. I mean they're not they're not effortless to say the least. They're they're stiff is what I'm saying because pepper sprays are designed to well the triggers are designed to help prevent an accidental discharge and a waste of pepper spray. So I don't know what was up with this one. Maybe I just got a bad model. Would I use either of these pepper sprays? Um, no, not as my only pepper spray. This might be worth having on a keychain as a backup pepper spray, maybe. And maybe if you have some sort of health condition to where you can only carry something very small, this could work for you. It's better than nothing. Uh, it does work, but the range is just so short that it puts a user within grabbing distance of an attacker. So if you're th if we're three feet away from an attacker, even though he, that he or her is blind, once they've been blinded by the pepper spray, they still know where the person was who sprayed them. So they can just remember where that person is and keep moving forward and possibly grab them. So with the three foot range, this is better than nothing, but not very good. And I would not recommend trusting your life or your safety or the safety of you or your loved ones with this pepper spray. If you want a pink pepper spray, here's another one by Mace. It's awesome. It's the sport model. It comes with this wrist strap. But even without the wrist strap, this is a much better model. It has a uh, longer range, much longer range, two to, two to three times. In my estimation, I tested this pepper spray. It's awesome. And... 
with the extra large canister, it'll buck wind better. There's just more juice. You can handle more than one attacker with this. You're only going to get maybe two attackers with this. Maybe if you're very, uh, if you have very good trigger control, this might be able to stop two people. But both of those people would be about three feet away. Whereas this one is about 10 feet away. This is a 10 foot distance. So that's awesome. So for if you are of the female persuasion or not, and you would like a pink pepper spray, I recommend this one over this one. I made a video reviewing more than 20 pepper sprays. It shows lots of good pepper spray options like this. It also shows some bad pepper spray options that I would not use, ones that I would not trust my life or my safety with, and that I don't think you should buy or trust with your life or your safety. Check out that video. It's a good idea.